Hey guys, in this video, we're going to continue our Motion Eye Raspberry Pi home surveillance series by showing you how to back up all of your data to the cloud. So once you've got your Motion Eye system set up and it's doing everything you want it to do as far as uh, running surveillance around your house or your office or wherever, it's always a good idea to have that data backed up somewhere secure and off site. So what I want to do in this video is show you how to back everything up from your Motion Eye system to your Google Drive. So while the process is fairly simple, really, it's a little tedious in that you'll have to set up the backup process for each camera. So if you've got five cameras, you're gonna have to go through this process five times. Um, luckily, it is pretty quick and easy. So let's jump over to my desktop and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so here you can see that we've got our three cameras set up from the previous video where I showed how to add um, IP cameras and additional motion eye cameras to your surveillance system. What we wanna focus on in this video is how to back up each of those cameras' uh, data, the, the, the information they record to a Google Drive account. So. Uh, this is actually pretty simple, um, but kind of tedious. Basically, what we'll have to do is go through the same process for each camera, which again, it's a little tedious, but there's actually some perks to doing it, and I'll show you what I mean. So the first thing we wanna do is come up here to the top left, uh, where we've got our settings. We wanna select, uh, we'll just start with one of our cameras. We'll go with um, our, our dot 20, the top left, which should be this guy right here. And so what we're gonna do is set up uh, this camera to back up to a specific folder in Google Drive. So what we'll do is we'll scroll down to where it says, oh, we're gonna minimize that, and we're gonna go to File Storage, and that'll probably be uh, minimized, so you'll just click it. And what we're gonna do is select Upload Media Files, and we're, we're gonna change that from Off to On. And then we've got some options to upload pictures and or movies. We can turn those off as we see fit. Um, but what we want to do below that is where it says FTP server. That's the default. Um, if you've got an FTP server, you can set it up using your FTP credentials and that's fine. But again, we want to focus on Google Drive in this case. So what we'll do is we'll just select Google Drive. And uh, now it's gonna ask for a location. Now, if we come over to my Google Drive account, you can see that there's nothing here. We've got no folders or anything like that. So what I wanna do is, is I wanna give it a location and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do a forward slash, I'm gonna do um, top left. You can put spaces in here if you want. Um, I've just been doing this a while and part of my brain still goes back to when we couldn't have spaces or certain numbers of characters in our titles and things like that. So um, I'm just gonna call this top left and that's the folder that, it, that this system will create in our Google Drive. But before we can do that, we actually need to obtain a key. Um, that's gonna be an API key to allow um, our uh, motion, eye, motion eye system to communicate with Google Drive. So we're gonna go ahead and click obtain key and it's gonna go ahead and pop this open and we're gonna say we're going to allow it. And we're gonna copy this key and then we're gonna come back and then we'll go ahead and paste this in and we'll click test service. Now, if everything works correctly, it should pop up saying something to the effect of it connected successfully. So that's good. So now the next thing we wanna do is actually click apply. So if we come back over to here, now you can see we've, it, this created this folder for us automatically. We can open that up. There shouldn't be anything in here yet. I haven't given it any of the criteria to uh, look for motion or detect motion or back anything up um, based on certain criteria. Right now we're just setting up um, which folders each camera will go to. So again, what we'll do is we'll come over, we're gonna do the bottom right, that's our dot .15 camera. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna say upload media files. We're gonna change this to Google Drive. Um, here we're gonna say uh, top right. Oops. I'm of the opinion that it's always good to get a new key for each thing you're doing. Um, just in case one is compromised, not all of them are compromised. So I'll go ahead and click allow. We're gonna copy that and we'll come back. We're gonna paste that in and we're gonna click test service. And again, we should just get a, a, a confirmation message saying that it worked. Once we've got that, we can click apply and then we can come back to here, and now we've got a top right. Um, so all of this is happening in very real time, um, which I really dig about that. And then just real quick, let's go over to our third camera, which is just camera three, and we're gonna do oops, the same thing again. We're gonna upload media files, gonna go to Google Drive. I'm gonna actually close 
both of those. I'm going to obtain a key. I'm going to say, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to click allow. We're going to copy that key and then we're going to come back. Oops, not there. Um, and we're going to say, uh, we're going to call this, uh, oops, camera three, just like so. Make sure that you begin and end each of those with a forward slash, just to make sure that you're telling it to put it in a directory. Um, and then we'll paste that key in there. We're going to click test service and then we'll come back to here. And actually, yep, just right as I did that, it said camera three. So that's good. So now we can click apply. So the reason that we might want to have each of those stored in a different location is because sometimes something might happen, happen on camera one or camera two or camera three that we don't need to, we don't want to have those other cameras footage interfere with with each other basically so if we want to look for only stuff that happened in where wherever camera one is is monitoring we don't want to dig through camera two and three or four or whatever same thing if something happens on camera two we don't want to dig through camera one and three to find the right footage so that's why i think it's a really good idea to put each camera in its own separate storage folder so that it makes it easier to find the footage you're looking for without having to look through a lot of unnecessary data. Okay guys, so there you go. Like I said, kind of tedious, but definitely worth the little bit of effort that it takes to make sure that all of your data is backed up offsite in the cloud, someplace secure where you can access it from literally anywhere with an internet access. So with all that being said, I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up and share it on whatever social media you prefer to share things on. Uh, if you've got questions or comments, ideas, anything like that, of course, I'd love to hear about those in the comment section down below. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.